Hola mi gente, Miss Malcolm Hughes here. Welcome, welcome back. Today we are coming to discuss all of the books I read in February, the February wrap up. So let's just get right into it. In February, I told you all that I was going to be reading seven books. Today we're going to discuss the books that I read, the books that I did not read, and what does that mean moving forward. We're going to start with the books that I read, all of the books that I read, most of the books that I read have a complete review, a full review up on the channel. So the first book we have is Heavy, an American Memoir by Kiese Lehman. I absolutely loved this book. I really talked about how just moving it all was and how honest Kiese was and the vulnerability in his writing. As I also said, Heavy was an appropriate title because the context is heavy, some trigger warnings, definitely for anyone reading this, but it was well worth it. I think it's a book that everyone should read. That's how much I love it. That's how much I appreciate the writing of Kiese and I cannot recommend him and this book enough. The next book that I read was Demon's Dream by L. Kaysen. Listen, that book was long but worth it, 750 pages. I loved the first three quarters of that book. I loved the characters, have a new book crush, definitely worth it. Loved the pacing, loved the, even though it's not like the most original storyline, I love the way in which Elle wrote it and the uniqueness of that story and just all of the characters, though they were tropish, they were also like worth it. So I really enjoyed that read, absolutely. Listen, I know the book was about Demon or Damien, because I don't really support calling him Demon, but Smoke or Cartier, that was my new book crush and love, love, love him. Love the characters. Like I said, the last quarter of the book kind of fell a little short for me, but you can see my four reasons for that in my video, but overall worth it, recommended that folks check it out when they have time. All right, the next book we had was Blackout by Daniel Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, and Nicola Yoon. This was a series of short stories that were all compiled in a way that they were interconnected. I loved it. It was so sweet. It was a Valentine's Day read. I felt like it was a nice reminder that love is still possible. I really enjoyed it. I found out that they also have a similar work called Whiteout. Um, and I'm thinking about checking that out as well. So I really, really thought this one was one that everyone should read. Um, I just thought that it was like so great and so well done. And so I think folks should check it out. Next up, we have The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong. This is one that I finished, but my review is not up on the channel yet. It will be coming soon, so look forward to it. I won't say much about it here for that reason, but I will say that I have a few mixed emotions about this one. So those are the books that I finished. Let's talk about the books that I did not finish, whether they will be DNFs or whether they are ones that I'm continuing to read. All right, so first up we have The Blood Gift by Annie Davenport. I didn't finish this one, but you see a bookmark. I am making my way through it. I definitely plan to finish it. So you all should see a review of this in the near future. I'm gonna continue reading it through March. We also have Shouting in the Fire, an American Epistle by Dante Stewart. This was another one that I didn't finish, but I'm making my way through. And this was one that kept me up late last night reading it. So know that a book review for this one is coming in the near future. And the last book that I was supposed to read in February is their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Again, there was a bookmark. I'm nowhere in this book, still very early. And this one, it just was gonna require more mental power than I initially anticipated. Not gonna be an easy read. So it's one I'm gonna have to give my attention to. So definitely still going to read it. We'll continue reading it in March, but it will be one that I will have to only be reading this one and not going back and forth between books but a review will be coming in the future. And those are the books that I was reading or plan to read or did read in February. And that's what I have. Let me know down below what books y'all were reading in February. If y'all read any of those books, if you've read them historically or in the past, let me know your thoughts down below. 
I'm going to be dropping my video soon for the books that I'm reading in March. You kind of got a preview of a few of them that I will continue reading, but there is some new ones that will be added to the list as well. So look forward to that video. Until the next one, I am Ms. Malcolm Hughes, the one who believes that books are sometimes better than people. Please remember to give time time to be kind to each other and to have the very best day of your life on purpose. Peace. Adabo. Adios. Ciao.